Yes, my name is Kwame, and with this tutorial, well, I'm going to get you started with the Chains APD uh, Web3 SDK. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually go to our GitHub page, and on the right-hand side here, you're going to see releases, and we have our current release. And all you're going to need to do is just download this Unity package. I've already had this downloaded, and once you do, you can Open up Unity. I'm just going to drag my Unity screen here. I'll minimize this. And I have a copy on my desktop, and you just need to drag and drop that into the interface. And this will bring up all the packages for the project. So we'll just click on Import. Move this back in the screen. And while this is loading up, we'll see a bunch of the chain Legos or building blocks that we're going to need to uh, build our decentralized games. Okay, great. So now that we have that, we're going to go into our Web3 Unity and we'll see that we have scenes here. This is our web login screen and this is what we're going to be focusing on at this point. So we can just double click on that. And for the overall setup, might as well just get that out of the way. So go to File and Build Settings. And we'll go to WebGL and switch to Platform. Okay, so now that that's done, we are going to um, add that current scene. But there's something else that we should do. Uh, let's go into the Player Settings. Okay, so once that's opened up, you're going to want to go into the player options and inside the resolution and presentation, you're going to want to change this to the actual build that you're working with. And we're WebGL 2020, and you'll see we have support for 2019 and 2020 as well. So just pick the one that you're using to deploy. Okay, so we have that. And the next thing we're going to want to do, didn't really need to close that down. But we're going to bring in our sample scene. And that sample scene is just going to be the, um, the next scene. So we'll have our web login screen, which is going to activate MetaMask and get the player's count. And then the second scene, which will be your game or whatever other kind of visual presentation that you want to use. OK, so now that we have that, and we're good for here. And in the next step, we will actually write a simple script that will get the player's account. Okay, so now that we have our web login screen set up, what we're gonna do now is add a little component to get the player's account information for MetaMask. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do here is to um, add a UI component. So I'll add text component, just rename this to player account. Okay, now, if we pull up the documentation, this is, should be something that we're all doing here, um, but if we look at the uh, documentation and we'll see here that we actually have a player account. Um, it gets it from uh, the player preps. So after the web login screen works, it'll grab an instance of the public um, account that you logged in with. And then we're gonna display that on the screen for the user. So with that being said, we have a script folder in our scenes here, and I'm just going to create a new script. I'm just going to call this player account. Okay, and then we'll open this up and add the functionality that we need to it. Okay, so this is going to be a simple script. Um, we're going to add in the using Unity uh, Engine UI. And now we can actually um, create a public uh, text object. And we'll just call this player account. And then in the start, we will create a variable for the account. We will access the player preps. get 
a string, and this is logged under the account. So we'll just put that. And now we can say player account as text property will be assigned the account uh, data that we got from player props. So we'll just save that. And what we're going to do now is after this loads up, we will uh, add the script here. And then we'll just drag our text object to the um, text field that we um, supplied in our player script. And now with that, I guess we can kind of maybe move this uh, around proper spot. Having it with the new text is fine for right now. And now we can build out this project. Okay, so now that we have our, our build up and running in the browser, let's click on login. And MetaMask is brought up. And there you go. You'll see that we have our account information on screen, a little bit small. You can always bump up that font size if you want. But uh, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.